Well, um, Renee Adi, thank you so much for coming to visit with us about your two wonderful new books. Thank you so much. Um, you know, I'm curious as an older guy about, um, about the young readership, and you seem to have found a, a, a place that really relates to young people of today better than some of the books that you read were able to read as you were growing up. What, 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 what kinds of uh, things appeal to you as a reader, and how do you try to bring them into your books? Well, I think readers today are just looking for a great story. And when I was growing up, there were so many books that I loved to read, Anne of, Anne of Green Gables, Little Women. But I think what I was largely looking for when I was growing up were books that were sort of reflective of my experience. And I had a hard time finding them because I was a, I was a child of mixed race. I am a child of mixed race. My mother's family is South Korean and my father's family is Scottish, Irish. And it was really hard for me to find books that uh, that had me as a as the hero or the heroine of my own story. And I think that's really important for kids nowadays to have that for two reasons. I look at books as either windows or mirrors. And what I mean by that are two things. What I mean by windows are that they open up a different perspective for a child. So it may not necessarily be their own experience, but it teaches them empathy. So if I'm reading about a child from a different part of the world, if I'm reading about a child or even experiencing a different thing, like a child that for some reason is blind or a child that may be gay or something like that, that's not my experience, but it's teaching me empathy to understand the world as they see it. That is just as important as me seeing a book that has my face on the cover, where I am the hero or the heroine of my own story, because it teaches us empathy. So, so it's more fun for you to write and get out of your story mm -hmm. and into someone else's story uh, that, that might uh, have a universal appeal rather than just your own story. I think both are very important. Mm -hmm. I love doing both. But what I really wanted to do with the story of Shahrazad and the Wrath and the Dawn and the Rose and the Dagger was create a window for people so that they could understand another experience and, and view another world and see another perspective. Well, I, we thank you for talking. Look forward to visiting more on Bookwatch and also uh, maybe to re-reading your books with the perspective that you've given me about uh, looking outside my life. Thank you thank so you. much. I really appreciate it.